Hi, I'm John. I'm mayor. I need jobs and innovation to keep the city fair and strong uh, and uh, to modernize the city. And it's up to you and the ideas you generate to uh, keep us one of the greatest uh, and most livable cities in the world. Thank you. Ten seconds. <laughs> You're sitting in my chair. Did you know that? That's okay. <laughs> there are days when I'd be very happy you should come and sit at during city council meetings. And, you know what, this 10 second thing is not such a bad idea. We should probably, we have, the clocks over there give you uh, five minutes when you speak at the city council and uh, I think this 10 second thing would be a big improvement. Um, I'm just here to say, to say thank you and to encourage you and to tell you just a little bit for a couple of minutes about what we're trying to do here uh, at the city hall. Um, I want you to know that we are with you here at home, for starters. Uh, we have a huge job to do modernizing the way the city runs itself. Uh, it was, uh, and I think it's not unlike governments, for some reason or other seem to be the last uh, to adopt ideas, sometimes I think because they're afraid to make the investment, sometimes because they say they don't have the resources uh, to make the investment, but the fact of the matter is in most cases, if they adopted a lot of the ideas that you're out developing, uh, they'd be better off. You know, they'd pay the money back that they invested in almost no time. And so when it comes to something uh, like signing up for recreation programs, you may think, well, how important is that? Well, the fact is hundreds of thousands of families uh, in Toronto, and some of you will have had the experience of dealing with a system that quite frankly consisted mostly of clipboards and pencils uh, and of uh, software that was antiquated by any standard. And we decided, well, we, were, we had to fix it, uh, but we were not going to try and fix it ourselves. We were going to call people in from this community right in this room. And people have come and helped us, and we're in the midst of buying a new system, which is taking some time, because it does in government. But in the meantime, we've done some fixes with the help of people like those of you in this room that have made it immensely better already, because they just brought common sense and a bit of ingenuity and a bit of outside government thinking uh, to make that happen. We uh, have a win-win going on, and I'm just giving you a couple of examples. The Bloor Street bike lane pilot project is a pilot project, and I said, and so did those who were all the proponents of it, including myself, that it was going to be measured uh, nine ways from Sunday so that we could say to people when we decided to change it or to keep it or not to keep it, that we'd done that based on evidence, not based on politics or based on ideology. And so we do have people with clipboards and pencils out uh, measuring the bike traffic and the car traffic and the pedestrian traffic and the business and so on. But we also have a company, Myovision, that you're going to hear more about tonight. And they are using their technology, and the reason I call it a win-win, is because their technology is going to allow us not just to see numbers, but to see what lies behind those numbers and explain, perhaps, those numbers so that we'll better understand that maybe there are some shortcomings to the bike lanes, but we can fix them because we can see uh, what the problems are. For them, I hope it's an opportunity to showcase marquee technology on a marquee project inside the City of Toronto that lots of people are looking at. And so I hope that's a good partnership uh, as well. Uh, we're signing people up uh, here at home. We're, Alex uh, is somebody that we've signed up to our committee that we've established to help us to sort of figure out how we can help this uh, segment uh, to flourish. We are in the midst of uh, making an opportunity available for more and more private uh, public partnerships involving the city and you. And that's going to be thanks to the support we're getting from Bloomberg Finan Philanthropies, the first uh, Canadian city uh, to join their global innovation uh, network. And that's something we'll be rolling out in the next uh, couple of months. And so those are all things we're trying to do to be with you here at home. I'm trying outside of the city to be your champion. Uh, I took a group uh, to Silicon Valley and we went down there to do a number of things, to tell them about the Toronto story because we all think everybody knows the Toronto story, but they don't. Uh, we're down there trying to lure some people home who've gone there uh, seeking their fortune, uh, but I think are increasingly thinking about their own families and where they want to have their future and where they want to build their lives as well as their careers. And uh, I think we had some success with that and we're going back uh, this spring to say that we're back here again and that uh, there may be even more reasons now uh, for you to think about coming to Toronto and locating here uh, than ever before. Uh, we went to Israel. We went to Israel, yes, to tell the Toronto story. They told us right there when we met with a bunch of venture capitalists that we think about New York, we think about Silicon Valley, we know about Toronto a little bit, but we don't really think of it when it comes to making decisions. And Israel, of course, is a gigantic success story, but it's a country of eight million people. So they have to expand by definition to North America, among other places, in order to grow. And we want them to locate here 
as their North American headquarters uh, here so they can do business in the U.S. but do it uh, from a base in Toronto. I should tell you one story that really indicates the innovative nature of the people who came with me to Israel because we took a group of people, including some in this room, uh, on that trip with us. Uh, and it has nothing to do with selling business. A group of the entrepreneurs uh, from this community were in a lineup at a bar uh, in uh, Tel Aviv. And a lot of the bars, it's a very lively place, uh, those who haven't been. And uh, they were having no success moving ahead in this lineup at all. And Mike Williams, who's our Director of Economic Development, came along. And he was dressed in a suit and wearing a Toronto pin. And they dragged him into the lineup and said he was the mayor of Toronto, told the bouncers that he was the mayor of Toronto, and they got into the bar. I didn't know I had this degree of influence. It certainly doesn't happen here in Toronto. I don't get in any, in any bars. Uh, I'm too old to go anyway. But having said all that, um, it is something that uh, showed the innovative nature of the people who are on that trip uh, from this community. And then the last thing I want to say that we're doing is we're, we're out trying to sell. Um, and we have so much to sell. You don't realize until you get away from home uh, how much we have to sell here. We have a talent pool, because you're part of it, that is second to none in the world. And they're amazed, people in other parts of the world, when we talk about the diversity of our talent pool. And that is just for real here. You know, y many of you have been to other cities in the United States, in Europe, and they think they're diverse, but when you walk down the street or go on the subway or go anywhere here, you can see that this is a city that's truly diverse and working very hard at being the most inclusive city in the world, which is a bigger a challenge and a bigger accomplishment than being the most diverse city in the world. And I think people respect that, and I think what it represents more than anything else is the most important thing about Toronto is that we have a different way of living here. It's not perfect, but it's different. And I think we need your innovation, we need your creativity, we need you pushing the envelope to maintain that livability, the, to maintain the prosperity that allows us to be fair and treat people fairly. Because as you know, um, the only money that we can redistribute to help people who need help in the city, whether it's through housing or better transit or whatever, is wealth that somebody's created. And you're doing a magnificent job of the wealth creation of the future um, that is going to uh, drive the city forward and allow us to maintain that different way of living uh, that I think the world admires in Toronto. So the last thing I want to say is just thank you. Thank you for innovating. Thank you for disrupting. Thank you for pushing. Thank you for taking risks. Uh, thank you for staying here because the number of stories we have of people who could have moved, could have sold, but they're hanging in there because I think they, ac they recognize this is a great place to live and build a career and build lives um, is phenomenal. Uh, there are still too many that are leaving and we're working at trying to make sure it's attractive either for them to come back or just to stay and not leave to begin with. But I want you to know that I am personally deeply committed to this because I understand enough, even at my age, to know this is the future. Uh, you know, sure, the banks and the life science companies and all of the great uh, economic pillars that are here um, are here and they employ thousands of people, but their future as well as our future is going to be tied up in your success. And so that's why I want this to be the place in all of North America and one of the places in the world where you feel you can stay, where you feel you have the support. And we're trying to work on the federal government on immigration, trying to work on all the different governments to make sure we work as one with the educational institutions and everybody else. So thank you for doing the work you do. Thank you for having the ambitions that you have. Um, and I just look forward to hearing from you. Don't hesitate to let us know. I have Syria Grell working in my office who is almost exclusively assigned to this very strategic initiative uh, of the city. We have people in the Economic Development Department. We need to hear from you as to what more we can be doing uh, because we're not going to know it all. So thank you very much. Enjoy the evening and thank you for listening.